Hey, it's Joe with a quickie lesson on the bottom line for easy concept number one, let your strong hand have fun. Now, you've got two hands. One hand, I call it the famous hand, is on the fretboard and it creates different tones according to which string you push down and where on the fretboard you push it down. Now, it could be notes, could be a chord. If you make a mistake with this hand, it offends the ear. So this, your famous hand, is affecting the ear. Your other hand is attached to your toes, and that's the strumming hand. It creates the rhythm. It creates the tempo. And so long as you stay in tempo, your toes will be tapping. So if you ever find yourself white knuckled or you're not breathing or you're not having fun, it's because you're thinking of the wrong hand. Think of even the tones as coming through your right hand if you're a righty or your left hand if you're a lefty. Your fun hand is responsible for the music. And that's the bottom line. You can see more about this lesson using the link below to Joe's lesson around 18 seconds in. Sorry for the traffic. Well, that was pretty quick for me. The bottom line is you cannot let your fun hand have any sympathy for the hesitation that your fretting hand might do. Let your fretting hand muffle if you have to, but keep that fun hand going so that you keep the feet going. And when you're playing in front of other people, even if they're your friends, if their foot stops, the music stops, and you are making them listen to you practice. When you're going to perform a tune, make sure it's one of your better ones. That said, there's a lot more on this at the 17th second of Joe's lesson. I would suggest beginners use the My Bad Jam Track to strum and muffle along with to begin each practice session. That'll get your fun hand going. Until next time.